All right, now we actually start as I bought some. So let us, let's go to the Colford Cauldron. Here it simmers in this unstable area, which once pierced to the heart of the world. I'm guessing it's a volcano. No risk of Colford Cauldron ever erupting again, they used to say. Guess they were wrong. Yep, big old volcano fight this time. But don't worry, I got a gun and a spear. I am set. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rot. Come on. I will just slowly. Haha. -ha. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. Haha. -ha. There we go. Alright, so that's all over there. But I can bring stuff up. Oh, that's too far that way. There we go. So in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors too. There we go. Best to oh. keep out of the cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Ooh, what do we got here? The fire bellows, so I get a flamethrower now. Nice. That learning led to some interesting inventions. Oh, no, it's... The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Oh, interesting. So it's not... So it's not what I thought it was. There we go. That's interesting. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Yep. So is this the way I go? Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. It's all hot in there. That's not what I meant to happen, but all right. Come on. Come on. But we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. The taste of air so hot it sticks to your lungs. Okay, so that's how you kill those things. There we go. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? It looks like it's the way I'm supposed to go, so let's keep going this way. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore you. I got the thing I wanted from that over there anyway. Oh, 
Come on. Dissipate. Sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. There we go. Come on. Cook those things, but you can't eat them. The pecker nest. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. Oh, culture. Pecker nest. A patchwork of sticks with long egg nestled inside. Peckers were hunted aggressively before the calamity, but their numbers never seem to dwindle. Even now, they appear to thrive. Yep, sounds about right. Haha, -ha, screw you. Kept on sifting through the cauldron secrets anyway. Actually, let's keep the let's keep this for right now. Cause the more ash we swept aside, the more life we found. Oh God damn it! I'm really bad at judging where that thing is sometimes. Places inhospitable as they come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on, little pecker. Come on. I'll get you eventually. Do we have to run back all the way around? Yep. We have to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bob. Luckily, I have a flamethrower now, so Kids doesn't matter. Kid's he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Maybe not, though, right? Give me your experience. Give me your experience. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Oh, thank you kindly. I appreciate it, cauldron. I'm sure it ain't the most convenient path. There we go. Oh. Bye. Bye. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. Come on. There we go. Was that so hard? You know, give me that XP, EXP. Where there's one stink eye, there's always more. Burn, baby, burn. 
burn, baby, burn. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Bye. Ah. He falls to his death because he's a dumbass. Kid don't shed any tears for him, though. Nope. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. There we go. Anything this way? Nope. So let's keep going. And we out. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. Oh. Uh, yep. What a fun experience it comes through hell. Back looking like the inside of a chimney. You know it. All right. Before we meet with anyone, let's put in another shrine. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. Let's see. Let's go with. Let's go with this. The distillery. Grants access to potent spirits to the private reserve. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. What do we get? Falling malt. Reduce damage from falling 200% plus reduce damage by falling on foes. Oh, nice. Very dry with flavors of pepper and gravel. First crafted by mountaineers, claiming it helped them keep a surer foot. And black rye plus two black tonic capacity has the fullness and texture of hearty stew said to improve short-term memory. Lifeline, survive an attack that would have brought defeat. Creamy, nutty flavors said to bring about courage and confidence. Favorite drink of slingers and other risk-taking sorts. I'll take that one. Life wine so rich, they say it's brought men back from the brink for one last taste. All right, what do you got for me at the vigil? At the vigil, gain the required number of mementos strewn across the countryside. 1,500. The culture. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. The sales were a sentimental people and would pass their precious heirlooms to their friends and children. I assume it's pronounced sales because of um, the fact that, oh, because it's Cylandia. So, all right, what else we got going on? One more of those, one more of those. One more secret skill. One more enemy type. What's the last enemy type I need to fight? Trappers. Uh, what's this one? Defeat 20 foes with continuous attacks without taking damage. Interesting. Harness the forge, use the forge to upgrade several weapons of third grade. So, while we're here, what do you got over here? Nothing in the mailbox. All right, Zia, the pecker nest. Ask Zia about the little nest from Colford Cauldron. Do you know if this egg's supposed to be making a muffled chirping sound? We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Oh, I got another pet! Hey, Pecker. I got so many pets now. I got a squirt. I got a Pecker. I got a I got an ankle gator. I got a fucking steam bull. I am living the life right now as a as a proud fur baby, fur um, fur parent. Those birds can breed just about anywhere, can't they? They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. Damn right. Well, let's see what we got in the arsenal. Fire bellows. You have anything new? What does it say, what does it say for the fire bellows? It's a continuous stream of fire causing damage over time. A simple miscommunication led to the fiery destruction of Ceylandia's oldest forge, but at least it gave birth to this weapon. Aw, that's not fun. Uh, let's see. When one type of firepower ain't enough, there's always the carbine and the bellows. Oh, nice. So, gun and fire. A good combo. So, you are the something foul. Uh, rag smothered in cauldron ash of highly volatile. This rat rank smelling fuel lasts long and burns clean. So, it'd be fuel generation or flame spread wider. Ooh. I like having more flames. Well, first, before that, something pointy to give to you for when counterweight you've damage. Got a solid balance. You've got what you need. Attacks ignore armor would be really nice, honestly. Uh, well, I have enough for you, so let's get At least it won't that get going. cold around here with that thing around. Napalm res So we have a chemical compound that oxidizes faster than usual for longer-lasting flames with less downtime. 
or an unstable compound that burns hotter with than normal, creating a wider cone of fire that can impact a larger target. Then next we have plus one damage per flame for thermite reserve or for napalm reserve. We'll look at those when we actually get to it. But I expended... Oh, I completed another um, vigil. Maybe it's just going to give me back my money. The city. Gather the fragments of the old world. Spend the required number of fragments. I needed to spend 10,000. So I get 2,500 back. The city. Its riches, nothing but fragments now. The calamity ravaged the city of Cylondia, reducing so many priceless treasures down to dust. That is pretty sad. But I got 2,500 um, fragments. So time to go back here. I can upgrade that. Let's upgrade you a little bit more. So let's go with... Let's go with the powder. Let's go with the Thunderout res Reservoir. A powder that can generate extreme heat even more for even more destructive flames. I like that we can just switch between the two. It's not On a. The inside of Fire Bellows ain't nothing like its more popular air spitting cousin. Okay. And then these are locked. Additional material required. Okay. So that's the end of that one. Something fancy. Well, let's get back to. Let's get to something greasy because I need more of you. Let's do high caliber ca uh, chambers, heavy duty bullet chambers made for use against larger targets, but no less useful against smaller ones. He's made a right comfortable bed for all those bullets. Bullets are in contact or cauldron powder, a controversial propellant that produces so much force it causes bullets to cut straight through targets. I do like that one. Uh, scrap musket, I don't really use that much. You could be, you I need to figure out at some point. I already have got you, I never mind. Something nasty, that's for the fang repeater, which I don't use that often. Ooh. Having that having that double up, but um let's get you up to the third level as well, because we do have something for that. So let's do cauldron powder, a controversial propellant that produces so much force it causes bullets to cut straight through targets. That ought to give those dueling pistols a little extra kick. There we go. And then is there anything I can actually buy still? I can upgrade I can upgrade a few things, it looks like. Um something wrong. I feel like Uh I should just upgrade this just so I have it. Uh let's go combat Your handle. Machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. Cause I get a uh cause I get a vigil for upgrading a bunch of weapons to um to the third level, right? So getting at least a, as many of them as I can at the third level is yeah, so I need Upgrade one more up to third level, so that shouldn't be too hard. And in the meantime, let us go and use the bellows. We a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. Well, how about that? Well, first off, let's give... No, let's... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, uh, let's see. Grady Incinerator. This thing's too cumbersome to smash at the scrapyard. There could, al could always be burned here. Okay. Grady incinerators where we sent off all our trash to be burned or be eaten by the wild. Good to know. And it's the site of another proving ground for me. Effective against armored foes such as lunkheads and wallflowers. Welcome to Grady Incinerator, home of the hottest wings in East of Ceylonia. In all seriousness, the incinerator was a dump, and it had a problem with peckers. Fry peckers before time expires. Blast the things would swoop in and spread trash all around. Until we started using fire. We couldn't just torch them all at once. We had to use restraint. I got second prize already. Awesome. Next prize, 72. Okay. Something foul and something sharp. Let's give it another... Let's give it one more go. Know how we kept the city clean? We put all our trash in the greedy incinerator. Let's give it one more go. Peggers that flock together were easy pickings.
Damn. Damn. Alright. Guess I need to wait until I can upgrade this just a teensy bit more. No matter. I got a new, uh, I got another thing though, so that's 500 extra fragments, so. You'd almost think those peckers like getting cooked. Perhaps, perhaps. But, we got another thing. The Cinders. Defeat 20 foes with one continuous attack without taking damage. Yep. The Cinders kept the city good and warm, made it thrive. They harness the forces of nature, improving all aspects of life in the city. Hell yeah. Is there anything else I can buy here that's new? Burning Carousel, a technique causing the user to spin while spouting flames. Created by an infamous circus performer whose craft concerned him more than the safety of other people. There we go. And that completes another one. The service. The service. The service for all the men and women who serve Ceylandia. Ceylandia's guilds offered lifelong experience competing and collaborating in the name of discovery and progress. And that gave me another 2,000. And then I should now be able to have enough that I can upgrade one of y'all up to third level. Critical hit chance or faster reload. Let's get that it's critical no hit chance up. A weapon. It's a precision instrument. Yep. And that I do activated another vigil. The inspiration. The inspiration. A forge can fashion anything. While the people of the city cherished their peace, they stood ready to defend it. Words to Sometimes live by. Sometimes I want to ask him, why do any of this? But truth is, I don't want to know. Why don't you want to know? Seems like a reasonable thing to want to know. Alright, what else do I have that I can do possibly soon? Overcome the trial of the gods, survive a trip to who knows there with at least one shrine idol activated. I can do that, probably. Build the Bastion, create every structure in the Bastion. Quickly put 12 bullets in a single foe without missing. Showcasing, create yourself with a single powerful shot from extreme range. Show surpassing skill with a Fang Repeater. Quickly strike 15 foes in a row without missing. Vanquish creatures touched by the Calamity. Restore the land piece by piece. Raise the temp. God, this one's gonna take, take a while. I just need one more Proving Ground I just need one more fully first prize proving ground to get that one, and that's 5,000 fragments. I have 3,000 right now. I mean, I guess I can stock up on a bunch of these. What do we got here? Graver Gimlet. Plus chance to turn Zealous after turn defeating a foe, while Zealous gain a 200% damage bonus for three seconds. Photosensitive beverage with a mild chalky flavor brewed underground. Uh, potent effects come and go unpredictably. Interesting. Leechade. Gain some health by striking foes, but minus 67% health tonic potency. Intense sour flavor known for its invigorating effect. Bitter taste li lingers for hours. Gotcha. And then we have Mender Mead. Gain some health by counter blocking with the Bullhead Shield. Filled with herbs and vitamins that promote wellness. Fragrant herbal bouquet. And then the Bull Brandy is damage resistance. Viscous beverage brewed as an offering to Pith, known for promoting longevity and resistance to pain. Stab Symphonite Retaliate when injured. I think I already have all that, already knew about that one. Um, well, let's see. Let's upgrade as much as we can with, with what we have first before we decide anything else. So for the forge, flames cripple foes or plus 20% fuel generation. Without an insulated air intake, that thing's liable to blow up on you. Okay, so that's something that we needed. Actually, can I? Well, let's see what we got else going on. You, let's get the final one of you, maybe. Plus one spear for a foe. Let's go barb spear. A savage looking point that can punch straight through heavily armored targets, let alone soft ones. Any brush's pike can cut to the bone, but that one can cut through it. Maybe that'll be, give me enough to get the spear one finished now, too. Um, let's get us something foul. Let's get us something greasy. I think that's good for right now. All right, making good time. 
Oh, okay, that's just saying that this one is fully upgraded now. Well, now that we have all the upgrades for it, let's try the spear one again. Maybe I can do it this time. And then if I complete it and get that thing, I get that extra 5,000. Which I can then use to buy more stuff. I can still do it, I can still do it. A good enough Fuck yes. Alright, did it. And I got the dynasty completed too. Hell yes. Thank you. I will take that. The busher sweep. The brusher sweep, not the busher sweep. Don't know what a busher sweep would be. The wilds ain't so scary now, are they? No, they are not. But now I got you. The dynasty. The dynasty. To the families of the city. All reunited. Birthright meant little in Cylondia, a city in which standing could be earned through achievement. Damn. So okay, so it was an attempt at a meritocracy. Got it. But now I got 5,000. Let's get another something. Okay, I don't have another something foul, so let's get another something fancy. For that, for right now until I can figure out what I need next. So you, so attack speed, damage resistance when firing. Let's do so attack the speed. thing about using that gas can is keeping a grip on it. Okay, so I don't have any, I don't have another something, I don't have another something foul. So I can't complete that anymore, but I can get extra hunting barrel damage. those things been to the wilds and back. I can do that. And then attacks ignore armor would be nice. He put some finishing touches on the business end of that thing. And then okay, getting as many of these as I can up to level three. Okay, I don't have enough of the other side material. Oh wow, I used up all of my stuff with that one. So that one's finished. Let's see if now that I have a bunch of extra stuff for the. Uh, of the duelist pistols, maybe I can actually get what I need for the um, for the final. I need 700, I believe, is what it said. Oh, I think I might have fucked up already. Shit. Yep, I think I fucked up already. Damn, yeah, I think I fucked, yeah. I wasn't fast enough. Got to get quicker on that draw. So let's give it another go.
Now I think I fucked it up again. Nope. Ah. I got closer that time, though. So maybe I can do it one, if I get one... Maybe if I'm a little faster, I can get it. I'll try it one more time, and then uh, I'll leave if I don't get it. Okay. Too long. Took too long. Took too long. That, yep, I did worse that time. All right, I'm out. I'm out from that one. Uh, let's do. Let's try the. Um, let's try the burner one one more time, and then if that doesn't work, then off we'll go. Let's try the burner one one more time. Now that I got a few more things going on with it. Grady incinerator. Let's go. Oh boy, I'm doing so bad. Oh yeah, I fucked up real bad. The Packers were willing to fight tooth and nail for all that trash. Oh no, that was bad. That did not go over well. I don't know how that did I don't know how that happened. Maybe I should get maybe I should put the upgrade on it that lets it go further out. Ah, damn. Ah, damn it. I was off. Fuck off. Oh, well. We'll give it a try some other time. We'll give it a try later, I guess. And we'll see if that works out later. Ow. Alright. Um, but I don't want to use the burner as my main t weapon right now, though. So... I kind of like the brusher. I kind of really like the brusher's pike, not gonna lie. But I did fully upgrade the hammer, so let's use the hammer for a bit. A hammer and an army carbine. When I was a fighting man, I used the very same. Good on you, Rux. Good on you. Um, so you foes check with greater ferocity. Foes ha shall have vengeance in the throes of death. Grow quick for strike. Let's go. Let's just have one of them on there just so I have a little extra experience going by. Um, 
I was actually doing kind of okay, so let's put Pith on there as well. So I have Henson Pith up. Alright, so now, let us go to Mount Zand. <laughs> 